So he, so virtual men do not have a uh, game exercise set up either. So you do have to go back to this one. This is the, it's not, I think it's a, called We Dream. Yeah, We Dream emulator. So it's the same as virtual man. Virtual man's, uh, his is set up different than, I mean, uh, Wolf, Wolf Stand. His setup is a little bit different than virtual man. Now I haven't looked at the uh, dynamic door, so I don't know how his is set up. But you could, uh, Press escape, then go up to input. Okay, so you have to first go use a keyboard to get in there and set this up. You go to in, in, input and press A. Okay, then you pick the joystick that you have. Right now, it only recognizes one of my joystick. It didn't recognize my, uh, I guess, the second joystick. All right. Now, like I say in the virtual uh, roof stand, I'll also have the link if you want to look at that one. It's set up, you don't, you cannot change the controller on D-pad. If you change the D-pad, you have to set it back to the the default setting. Or otherwise, you, you won't be able to change, uh, if you change that, it's going to mess it up. So, to access out the game, you will have to use, uh, the way he set up is joystick 11. I don't know where joystick 11 is. So... I'm just gonna go to XSL emulator. So you just go down the screen. Okay. And he got the selects set up to, I mean, you could set up a different button for it. If you have more than, more than six button control. I have a six button and I have more at the bottom. I got one, two, three, four. So I have a trigger button. I have the L1, L2, L1, L2, and R1, R2 at the bottom. So I can set up my exercise to be one of these buttons. So if I press keyboard, enter, or A to enter, it's waiting for me. So I could just select one of my buttons, which is J11. Oh, well, that's cool. So, uh, so how to say this? Let me bring the camera down to the joystick, to the button, so you could. So he have a setup where, if you look at the button right down there, see that? He set up the, the button J11, which is this one. Okay, so the way I set up is this is, this is R1, L1, R2, L2, and then the trigger button 1 and 2. So your trigger button is the one, the last two in the back to access out the game. That's why he set up to J11. So you have L1, L2, and then you have trigger button in the back uh, that that access out. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. This is look kind of different. But yeah, it's set up to that one. So, uh, now, if you don't want it to fast forward, you could use your select button to be the exit out button, the select button, because the We Dream and Dreamcast emulator do not use the select button. It just stop. Okay, so you could use the select button to exit out, because there's no reason to fast forward the the game. So let's see which one he used. Uh, he used a J10 for the menu. I think that's maybe that's why I got it set up. I'm not sure how he set it up, but this is how I set it up. I set up the last two, one for menu, one to access out. Now the turbo screen. Okay, he got the turbo set up to be J8, and J8 is probably is the J8. Probably I bet J8 is probably the the select button. Yeah. That is my select button. So you don't need to set up the turbo if you don't want turbo. So what you could do is make the select button as your axis. So just press, I'm sorry, let me pick, go back to the screen. So what I was saying is that, my, why now my, my select is my turbo. So every time I press it, it, it go quick, it goes super fast, turbo. So if you don't want to use the turbo, because 
not everybody have the same kind of, uh, I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I have 12 button. All my arcade that I set up, I set up 12 button because, because of Dreamcast, the uh, uh, PlayStation, and the Nintendo DS, that, and, the, and Nintendo 64 require more button. So I set those up for, the, for this kind of purpose because uh, otherwise you don't have extra button to do that. This one is not like May where you can set up two button to do something. So you will have to take one of your button away, which select button has never been used. If you check on your setup, there's no select button. So you take that off. Uh, you could just go to your access, access menu and press the A button and set that to a select. Okay. So now the game will access out. So let's go back in again. I also changed the virtual man's uh, music background. So there's a lot of different music now in my uh, virtual man's uh, image. I forgot where I got the music from. I got it from one of the virtual vertical uh, game. Now he has some good old oldie, some good some good music. So I decided to use his uh, music as the background. You just go to the the ROM folder and where you see all the game. All records are made to be broken. Capcom versus SNK2. Okay, so if you want to get out, you can just press select, that's it. One button and you're out. Okay? That's it. So I hope that will answer your question. First you have to set it up. And to set it up, you have to go to, let me go back in. To set that, let me turn the sound down. To set that up, you have to, uh, you have to set one of your button to, to be the main screen, like I did. But if you, if you never have to go to that screen, you don't have to set any button for it. So let's go back to that main screen. I wanted to show you the main, let's go back because when I set that up, it kicked me out because it was an exercise screen. I think it actually took two buttons. Okay. Ah, I think both of that button is, is oh, I have this button, that button set up to do the same thing. Let me go back in, I, I apologize. I forgot that one of these is the, is the menu, one is the exercise. So both my select and uh, so you could set up more than one button. Okay. Another word. Let me go back up here to the input. Press A on your joystick. Press A. Okay. What I did is I set up two. So my uh, J11 is still my access out, and now my select is also access out. So if you don't want to use it, if you use it somewhere else, this become turbo become none. You have nothing there now. So if you use, like if I decide to use the uh, select back to turbo, if I use it, then this will disappear. And so you don't have an extra button. If you only have six plus two, a button, you don't have a really extra button for, uh, to do, to do anything else. Let's see. Maybe you could set, maybe you could set a, a start button. Well, start button is used to start. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. Yeah, so that's the hard problem. If you want to get back to this screen, you have to use a keyboard or a button that you don't hardly use. And that's the problem. If you only have six plus two, a button, you really cannot do much with it. Now, the only advantage to able to access out the game is if you, if you set your select, to be access out menu, then you can access out. But if you want to go to this main menu, if I have extra button, I could get to this main menu by pressing the, but, the, the button below it. 
but if you don't have more than eight button I don't know what to tell you how to get to this you will have to use the keyboard for the main menu for this screen okay if you don't need to come to this screen most likely you don't but if you need to come to this screen you have to use the keyboard all right so let me just exit out of this screen Alright, so so we test that. Hopefully this helps and answer your question. Alright, okay, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.